Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So there's my color. She can stop it right here, but we're gonna go into them right here as well. This is a 12 inch round cloud pour and we are going to be using another brand new, this little piggy stuck up pigs called egotistical. This one is pretty amazing. And you know what? I decided that I'm gonna layer it with lighter colors just so you guys can see it. You know, these pigments like this that are these, these chrome pigments and they shift to, oh gosh, at least five colors and actually more. There it is. It shifts from magenta to orange to gold to Ugh, um, coral. There's so many colors in this one, but you know, so many times, you know, you put these on a black base and they look absolutely amazing, obviously. Um, but I think they look just as amazing on a lighter color background. So that's what I decided to do. I wasn't going to put them on black or a darker color. This one I was going to try. Um, here right now and with with a with a brighter color background and actually this is a double feature so you're gonna get this pigment on two different paintings um, one the egotistical is going to go on top of an orange and then the second one it'll go on top of a different color <laughs> so I'll kind of talk about that when we get to that one. But so first in is egotistical and you can get all uh, this pigment at www.fluid-art.co and I'll leave the link in the description box below for you guys. This next color is cadmium red light. So I know I said orange, that is a big faux pas. It is cad red light, which to me has an orange hue. So this is going to be primary yellow next. Next up is going to be my Vallejo Pro Medium Cloud Mix, uh, mixed with Artist Loft Soft Body and American Floetrol. <laughs> this is going to be a magenta. This is that Fluo Violet by Blick Acrylic. This is an Alizarian. Oh, wait a second. I'm debating. <laughs> Not enough violet, I guess. So next is Alizarian Crimson. And I end with that. So again, I only did one layer of my cloud mix. And I'm just, like I said, I'm gonna start doing that with these 12 inch rounds. It makes more sense to me, but you know, you can add two layers, that's okay. <clears throat> All right, so here we go in um, real time with the pouring out of the cup. So I'm gonna let you guys watch this and I will be back in just a little bit to uh, talk about the results. Okay, hold tight.
Hey guys, thanks for hanging in with me with the tilting, the pouring out of, well, the pouring out of the cup, the tilting, the um, spinning. This piece is pretty much done. You know, I look at this piece now and I'm like, man, that's pretty much a retro palette. I loved all the cells at the bottom on this one. I just did, I had to keep them. Um, I knew putting that pigment on top of orange would give a certain look when wet like you it looks kind of earthy up there if you know what i mean and when i poured it out um i thought oh gosh i mean i i like it because it's earthy um but then i like second guess myself i was like i don't know if other people are gonna like that but you know what i'm showing you what these um high shifting or these chameleon pigments look like over a different color other than black and you can kind of use them how you want but this is just to show you guys so i didn't get a detail video of this one because i went right into paint another pity of uh, uh, paint another um piece but here's the shift and i'm gonna get a better video for you guys because um, this was painted literally before we went on vacation but see that lime and then it's orange and coral and pink and um there's even more colors so i'm gonna get an even better video of this one shifting for you guys but uh let me know what you think of this one this one definitely has kind of a retro color palette so there it is wet um and just another image of it wet okay so here is the second piece we're gonna go right into it this one I used up all my paint. The only color I didn't use was the Alizarian Crimson. So right away, I went in with the rest of my egotistical. You know, I just wanted to play. I wanted to put it, you know, where it layers on top a different color. So instead of the, um, the cadmium red light next in the cup, I actually well, get all that pigment out. Yeah, I'm not wasting that pigment. That stuff is amazing. And you know, I'm gonna use it wisely. So next I did magenta. I put it on, you know, where it would layer on top the pink after I poured my cup out, if that makes sense. Next I did the primary yellow. I wanted sunny clouds in both of these, just really different color palettes out of my comfort zone. Next, I did my cloud mix. And then I did the, uh, I keep saying it wrong, cadmium red light. So this is, you know, when you look at some cad red lights, they look, you know, they have a quote unquote orange, to them so then I went back to the magenta because magenta and red and magenta and orange and yellow are just delicious together <laughs> and then I did do more cloud mix in this one and this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas so I knew I wasn't gonna have I probably wasn't gonna have enough paint for this one left over um, but I used every drop. So then I went back in with the Fluo Violet, and this one is by Blick Acrylic. I really love the color, but a lot of times I deepen it with something else, or I add, um, you know, just a little too paint to thicken it up a little bit more because I feel like I use more of this paint than I do of other tube paints. So it's just the body is a little bit less. Okay, so the next I'm putting in magenta. I really didn't have a plan on this one. I just kind of wanted to use more of the pink and violet, a fluo violet and orange and yellow as opposed to the red. So I was, as I was pouring this in the, the pour cup, I thought, oh God, am I gonna have enough? Yeah. <laughs> I think I end with that. I do. All right, so I lay down the rest of my orange and that's kind of my pillow right there. I know it's a hot mess, but here comes this one pouring out of the cup. And again, this is a 12 inch square deep edge um, 
canvas. I'm going to let you guys watch this. I'll be back shortly and we'll talk about this one at the end too. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, I'm back. I know I was just chatting, but I realized that I sped up a lot of this video because it is a double feature. So I just kind of wanted to talk about this one really quickly. You know, I left the Alizarian Crimson out and I'm glad that I did. And I think that I prefer, for me personally, layering the egotistical over the magenta. I don't know, I, I do like it a little better um, than the first piece. That being said, um, both pieces dried amazing and the clouding in the first one is really lovely and translucent and those yummy cells I got, those, those bolder cells, um, I love as well. So this piece, I, I don't spin much off because I knew I probably wasn't going to cover the corners like I wanted to. I didn't want to lose too much of the clouding in the center. So... I, I'm almost done spinning here, so when the camera goes off, I actually make those orange and yellow corners. I actually paint them magenta. So here is an image right now. This is a wet image. And here comes a video of this piece hanging in my um, covered porch. And you can see the shift. Now this is the same pigment as the first one. So you get that lime green, orange, coral, magenta, um, yellow shift and uh yeah so let me know which one you guys prefer number one or number two and um again thanks so much for hanging out with me i sincerely appreciate it and uh have a great week you guys thanks so much bye